another studio vlog what's going on um about time you see this video mother's day would have already passed um but i want to say again to you all to all the mamas out there i hope you all had a blessed weekend so it is a new week um and y'all i have a bunch of candles to make so i have been asked to make and if you follow me on lady c's digital studio on instagram you saw my story where i also where i've been asked to um i've been asked for a wholesale order for um a gala event here in my city i'm super excited and my candles will be a part of a uh, gifts for um like the special guest slash honorees and special recipients so they ordered 80 candles it may not seem like a lot to y'all but any type of wholesale order i'm grateful for right because this is another opportunity for me to get lady simone's name out there in my city expand my footprint because of course i'm going to include like my business cards and all of that good stuff so i'm super excited they ordered um i when i do wholesale of course, I offer my scents from my line, but I also do custom scents. Um, so it just depends. So they pick from um, my the scents from my line if they want to do like private label and sell it as their own, um, or they can pick from a list of scents so I can kind of customize their order. And so they picked a scent that they thought will be beautiful. We went through the whole process of walking through their label design since it's for an event. It's a, like a thank you gift. And so I got the label design finished and all that good stuff. So I am just here finalizing a few things and then we are going to get back in the kitchen and make some more candles. I already made 20. So today, um, which is Monday, by the way, um, may 9th i am going to make 40 today excuse me and then on wednesday i am going to make the last 20. if you saw my previous studio vlog about my production process you will see why i make a um, certain amount of candles each day um i don't have a huge home um but i'm grateful for the space that i have so i have to work with what i got and so i do an assembly line process where i make a batch um, one day and then the next day i'm touching them up cleaning jars doing the heat gun thing clipping wicks and then on the cleaning day which is be today finalizing everything then i'll make my new batch so i make a group at a time um, so that way the ones that are clean i can lid them up and get them out of the way so that our our living space isn't just overcrowded with candle stuff so that is what i'm about to do today and i'm just taking you along with me so let's get started y'all
baby girl? Who that baby girl? Who that baby girl? Who that baby girl? She looking like, girl, if you don't feed me. <laughs> say good morning. You say good morning. All right. <laughs> hey, y'all. Checking in. So I have what you've seen in the past couple clips. Just sanitized and cleaned my jars per usual, right? Put the wicks in there. Got them all secured. And here is my 45 pound of wax. It comes, I use coconut soy wax if you're new to my channel. And it comes in three slabs. It's so beautiful and creamy. Look at that. Like, love it. So creamy, easy to carve through. Uh, yeah, so that's my 45, 45 pound box. Um, and so I am making 20 candles right now. And so to make 20 candles, it takes it took takes me 3,600 grams of wax and then 360 grams of fragrance oil. Um, so that is how much, if you are curious on how I came up with that math and that formula, I have formula videos on my channel. I'll link it in the cards, check that out. But um, that's, how I came to how many, how much wax, total wax and fragrance oil I need to make all 20 candles. And yeah, so now I am about to get my Presto Pot turned on. It's already um, hooked together. I just need to plug it in. And I always do it to 200. Um, and then once it starts to melt, then that's when I turn it down to warm. So here are my thermometers. I got two uh, thermometers in here to help gauge each side of the oil while it's melting. So while that's melting, I am going to now come back over here and get started on these bad boys. I need to clean the jars, see if there's any tops I need to clean up, clip the wicks, get them lid up and put in a box out of the way until it's time to get them labeled and all that good stuff. y'all it is Wednesday and it's such a gorgeous day today um so I am now back in the office twice a week Tuesdays and Thursdays so it is actually Wednesday the last clips you saw was on Monday where I knocked out making 40 candles and so now today when I'm back home I'm on my lunch break I am going to go ahead and clean these bad boys up see if there's any that i need to heat gun and then of course do my whole wipe down process so let's get into it
14. Is it a fly? Y'all, you know how you always hear like that little buzzing sound by the door and I'm like, what is that noise? It's a fly. At least it was, this was, yeah. Anywho, <laughs> um, happy Friday. It is May 13th, so it is pickup day for the wholesale order. So I do offer, for those who are wondering, local, I do offer delivery for an extra fee. However, um, the girl um, who ordered, she's the co-chair of this gala that's happening. And um, she's a lawyer and her name is Dr. Tierra Ross. Her and I grew up at the same church. So I've known her pretty much my whole life. <laughs> um, and she's the co-chair of this gala. And so she's actually just going to pick it up. Bless her heart. <laughs> Cause she's like, don't worry about packing up the baby. Cause I would have had to pack up both the kids actually, because um, my husband works tonight. So there's that. So I would have had to pack up both kids, pack up all 80 candles and do what I have to do. But hey, I would have done it, you know, for an extra fee for delivery. But she's going to come and pick it up. So that saves me some hassle. Baby girl is still in their sleep. I'm actually about to wake her up. Well, not wake her up, but gently put her in her car seat um, because we need to run to Walmart real quick for curbside pickup y'all had to get some black ink because oh, i ran out of black ink the label the custom labels that i printed for them they are black font white labels so um i was printing out the candle labels and then i also made them box labels and i ran out of ink so i did a quick order last night for curbside pickup early this morning um it is currently 7 35 a.m hubby just left to take our son to school and then he's headed to the office so we are going to get our day started and then like when i get back i'm gonna clock into work work of course and then on my lunch i will come back to you all so you all can see how i assemble everything for the wholesale order so come along with me So I use an Epson printer, um, and so this is the ink that I use, my black ink, 702. Um, I believe it's the Epson WF like 3730 or something like that, 3730, I believe. Um, but this is the black ink that I use, and then I use the 702 color ink as well. So we got that, there's baby girl. We about to head back home and I will catch you back on my lunch break.
are the box labels. So it turned out great. So here's the printer. So yeah, it was a WF3730 Epson. I've had this printer since I started my business, um, really before I started my business, so like 2019. And I haven't had any issues with it, no complaints. Um, so it connects Wi-Fi, Bluetooth to your phone and, uh, well, I shouldn't say Bluetooth, but like wireless to your like phone so you can print from your phone um, and of course your laptop. So, but I just got the box label. So I just wanted to do a quick test print, make sure everything was lined up correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and print out the other seven sheets. All right, y'all. I'm checking back in. It is my lunch break. So here are the candles that I need to package and get ready. I need to put labels on it, tops, and then put them in their boxes. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I was running up the steps. <laughs> and then there's 20 more candles downstairs. So let's just go ahead and get into it. down here so here are the boxes I'm using for the gala and they are six by six by four and um, what I'm doing is because she wanted it to be like a presentation so um, I'm putting packing peanuts in the bottom just to prevent you know a lot of movement I'm making like a little like bed for it inside here And then I'm taking some black um, tissue paper because their colors are black, white, and gold. And then I'm making like a cute little like, bed inside of the box, like so. And then placing the candle in here, which fits great. And then my business card fit right down in there and then closing it up so super cute boxes closing it up and then i'm taking the box label that i had to get the ink for this morning <laughs> um, everything worked out it printed fine so taking the box label and then placing it right on top and that's how it looks. So go ahead and get these packaged up. What's up y'all so it's much later in the day i wanted to properly end the vlog so my girl tiara she's actually on her way to my house I'll now on on to tight okay just a minute okay okay <laughs> she's actually on her way now to pick up everything everything is in boxes sitting in the kitchen waiting for her to come so i'm gonna help her load her car baby girl is in there sleep we out here hanging out waiting on tiara so i'm about to get dinner ready get back into wife mode, mommy mode, and have some dinner and just kick back. It's been a long day. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you are interested in any of my services, join in Lady C's Digital HQ, join in my Facebook group, join in my text club. <laughs> Look at the description box and click that link. Everything is in there and that link will take you to all things Lady Simone Candle Co. So check that out and until next time, bye.